On Apple Valley News Now, a major pileup involving more than 20 vehicles causing a giant backup on Interstate 84 in Oregon. And we saw some of this during the day, light rain in Kennewick. I'm tracking conditions for Friday and the first full fall day on Saturday. It's all coming up on my first alert forecast. And important information for anybody who uses the Badger Mountain Community Park and Dog Park in Richland. We're talking about construction that's set to begin next week. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6 on your side. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner. We begin with that developing news out of Oregon. Pictures from Oregon DOT cameras showing a backup from a major accident involving more than 20 vehicles. That happened around 1230 on Interstate 84 in the Pendleton area. Officials say two trucks caught fire. They've since been put out, but the accident did close a large stretch of the interstate in both directions, causing hour long back hours long backups. We're going to keep an eye on this for you and bring you updates when we can. We also have continuing coverage now of the situation involving gasoline discovered in basement sumps of the Marcus Whitman Hotel in Walla Walla. Crews have now d drilled inspection wells, lined them with sand, clay and concrete. Officials are going to use those to analyze groundwater samples. It'll help show the direction of the groundwater flow and hopefully help investigators discover where this gasoline is coming from. Now officials have removed gas samples from two gas station tanks. Those are going to undergo fingerprint analysis. Officials will compare them with the samples removed from the two buildings that were uh, impacted, and those will determine if they match in an attempt to identify the source of the gasoline. A contractor working with the EPA installed precautionary booms in Mill Creek to make sure that there's no contamination getting in there. The EPA is monitoring the water, but has not detected any evidence of contamination in Walla Walla's waterways. Washington State has a general election coming up November 7th. Ballots go out by mail in less than a month. And Secretary of State C Steve Hobbs says election security is a top priority in Washington. The FBI is already investigating a couple of incidents involving suspicious powders being sent to county auditor's office. And Hobbs says a few months ago, powdered fentanyl was sent to an elections office in King County. But that's not the only incident. And then Okanagan County receded white powder. Now it was baking soda but it shut down the operations for three days. So it's a, it's a new threat that has emerged that now county auditors are going to have to deal with. And it's very unfortunate. So ballots go out in the mail starting October 18th. To register or to update your voting information online or by mail, that deadline is October 30th. The deadline to do that in person is Election Day, November 7th at 8 p.m. A controversial ballot initiative asking voters to decide whether to shut down the Columbia County Library has now been ruled unconstitutional. This battle has been going on for months because of concerns about books dealing with gender and sexuality being placed in the child and teen sections of the library. Opponents said the books are sexually explicit and inappropriate for children. So a group of people opposed those books gathered enough signatures to get an initiative to dissolve the Columbia County Rural Library District on the November ballot. But a political action group sued to block that initiative. This week, the Honorable Julie Carl ruled that the initiative could not be placed on the ballot for a long list of reasons. We have a link to the recording of that court hearing, plus more of what the Honorable Carl said on our website, AppleValleyNewsNow.com. Now let's talk about the weather. We shot this video outside the studio in Kennewick around 1 today. Found some light rain falling. This on the last full day of summer as fall begins tomorrow evening just before midnight. Stacey Lee is tracking your first alert forecast. That's right, lots of rain and we're still seeing some light showers moving through the area that will start to taper off later tonight. I'm calling it lingering showers and again, it's due to this uh, ridge of low pressure wrap around moisture. It's kind of going counterclockwise and it's been coming and going all day long. Now the uh, system, the low pressure system starting to move out. That'll drag most of that rain into the uh, panhandle of Idaho and into Montana. Right now, 58 degrees on our Dust Devil Giza Stadium sky cam. Our winds are really light right now, Zippo, and our sunset at 656 tonight. Temperatures running well below our average of 79, and we're going to stay below the average, even though we get a little warm up this weekend. Again, our average.
average 79. Going to stay on the cool side right into next week. Same thing, Yakima 78. Again, a nice weekend for the Central Washington State Fair, but then we cool right back down. So we've got to start thinking about grabbing that coat in the early morning hours. So lingering showers moving out, sunshine, warmer conditions tomorrow. Fall officially get, uh, begins, like we said, at 1150 on Friday night. And get ready, we've got more rain headed our way next week into that first week of fall. It's all coming up in your first alert full weather forecast. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacey. Washington Attorney General Bob Ferguson says so far the state has gotten back around $42 million of unemployment benefits stolen in the early days of the pandemic. They did it by taking that money back from banks. So in April of 2020, Washington was one of the first states to discover scammers using stolen information to file fraudulent claims for unemployment benefits. Ferguson's office says they've used Washington's forfeiture laws to go after the banks where those alleged scammers deposited their money. So investigators were looking for red flags like bank accounts that were getting unemployment benefit checks from multiple states or for multiple people and a mismatch between the account holder information and the unemployment checks being deposited. Ferguson's office says with the millions of dollars that investigators have tracked down and gotten back so far, only about 1% of the benefits paid out in total were lost to fraud. Tonight we have a follow-up regarding that Seattle police officer who was recorded mocking a woman who was struck by another officer's car. That victim later died. He may face unpaid leave. That's at least the new recommendation from a community police commission. Natalie Swaby reports. No, it's a regular person. The Seattle police body cam video yeah. as crass comments of Officer Otter are, are, are disturbing is why the Community Police Commission met today and sent this letter to Police Chief Adrian Diaz. We're asking the chief to put Detective Otter on indefinite unpaid leave. That request <laughs> after Detective Dan Otterer's comments made in January recently came to light. Otterer was dispatched to assist with a collision after another officer on his way to an emergency struck and killed John V. Condula. Otterer, who is the vice president of the police union, says as he drove home, his conversation yep. with union president Mike Solon was recorded. Yeah. He says when Solon asked what crazy argument a lawyer can make in something like this, Otterer responded. Yeah, just write a check. Just yeah. <laughs> $11,000. She was 26 anyway. She had limited value. In a letter to the Office of Police Accountability, Otterer explained he was not making fun of the death, but instead mocking the callousness of the legal system. For me, it was just so horrible um, that what is the context that makes that okay? During the commission meeting, a member of the force joined virtually, urging his colleagues to consider the trust of the people they're protecting. The day that this story broke, and I had to go to work, I knew what was coming. When something like this happens, it damages years and years of inroads yeah. and progress. And we have to start all over again. But I would implore officers to think before they speak because the damage that is done is irreparable and it hurts, it hurts other officers. We'll continue to track that as we learn more. Now, Washington is getting a big funding boost from the Federal Railway Association to improve efficiency on the Palouse River and Cooley City Railroad, which is crucial for transporting wheat. WashDOT is getting almost $73 million for upgrades to make it so PCC can handle heavier and faster rail cars in more extreme weather conditions. They'll also be working on rebuilding rundown railway crossings. The money is coming from the bipartisan infrastructure law that President Biden signed last year. And from trains to planes, the Port of Benton has announced plans to buy the former Richland Airport Terminal Building. The Community Aviation Revitalization Board has approved a $1.1 million low-interest loan to execute this plan. Officials say buying the former terminal will add about 12,000 square feet of leasable space, which is all part of a bigger plan to fuel the Richland Airport's growth. This will be the, the corporate face of the Richland Airport. Um, as the Tri-Cities continues to grow, Tri-Cities Airport's going to grow, the Richland Airport's going to grow with it, um, and this will be a strategic building to help us um, with that growth. Now the building is on Terminal Drive. It was built in the 1970s and was the commercial airport terminal for many years. 
Some important information tonight for those who use the Badger Mountain Community Park and Dog Park. The City of Richland says a large portion of the park's upper parking lot adjacent to the dog park is going to close next week, starting Monday, September 25th. That'll allow workers to develop and pave the parking areas. The city says it expects the work to wrap up by December. Designated parking areas for the dog park might change, but the city says dog park users should plan to use the entrance near Yoke's grocery store because the upper section of the dog park will also be closed during that work. Helping children learn the love of reading. We're talking about an event this weekend aiming to help them improve their literacy skills. Plus, assisting an aging generation, the local event that aims to inform seniors about services that can benefit their lives. And a striking wildlife sighting, what wildlife officials say will happen to elk this time of year. Plus, we had more wet weather today in the Tri-Cities. Stacey Lee is tracking your first alert forecast next on Apple Valley News Now at 6. Spicy Chicken McNuggets, breaded in tempura and made with cayenne, are just the right amount of fire emoji, chili emoji, grinning face with sweat emoji. And wouldn't it be double fire emoji if they came back? Spicy Chicken McNuggets, they're back. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. With Chevy Silverado and Silverado HD, you can take on the mountains. Or you can move them. With the power of up to 36,000 pounds of max available towing and the confidence of an available 13.4-inch diagonal touchscreen. Whatever your mountain, there's a Silverado for you. Get 0% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups plus make no monthly payments for 90 days. Or get 3,500 total cash allowance on this Silverado with a turbo max engine. See your community Chevy dealers. What attracted me to working at McCurley is just how much I do for the community. I mean, they do a lot for therapeutic writing of Tri-Cities, which I have a personal connection with. My son, Caden, he has autism and he goes there. What I love most about what I do is I am a champion for my customers. We care about our customers and making sure that they get into the best and safest vehicle possible. I'm Taylor Boyce and I'm driving change at McCurley Subaru. Find your way home in a new Subaru from McCurley Subaru of Yakima. And together, we can make this world a better place. It's fair time. Get ready for fun. The Central Washington State Fair, September 22nd through October 1st. It's fun for all. For more information, visit fairfun.com. It's fine. It is! It's fine! It is fine. Is it fine? No, it's fine. Everything's fine. Level performance at work and at home. Right now, save on steel gas and battery blowers. Real steel. Find yours. This is where the big steps in life meet the small moments that make each day familiar. Where they have their first day. Where we share our favorite spots. Like you, we call this place home. We're here to help you take the worry about how you get there so you can focus on finding your way home. Find your way home in a new, used, or certified pre-owned vehicle from McCurley Mazda. If something's missing in your morning without a McDonald's breakfast, then try a new bagel sandwich. With fluffy egg, melty cheese, and your choice of a steak patty with grilled onion, or bacon, or sausage, well, those will fill the void deliciously. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back tonight. We're talking about a couple of road projects that will impact drivers in Yakima. First, the city says that the 1600 block of Knob Hill Boulevard will close overnight next week from 7 at night until 6 in the morning next Monday through Thursday. The resurfacing project started in late June and is expected to last through the middle of next month. Second, traffic will go down to one lane in each direction on 24th Avenue at Racket Lane for construction work. That takes place from 6 in the morning until 4 next Monday and Tuesday. 
And an update tonight on a story we brought you earlier in the week. These pictures from WashDOT show the damage to an asphalt truck. Tuesday, investigators say someone stole it from a WashDOT shed in Washtucna, then led law enforcement officers on a pursuit that ended with the vehicle in flames on I-90 near Ritzville. WashDOT says the truck has arrived at its mechanic headquarters, and while part of the truck is severely damaged, WashDOT says the back portion can be used again. Washington State Patrol earlier said that the suspect, a West Richland man, had been arrested following the chase. Washington's population is aging. According to new data, the number of people aged 65 and older has increased over the years, while those ages 5 and under has declined. A local event aims to help those entering their golden years find some important services. Apple Valley News Now's Anna Trejo reports. To address the needs of seniors living in their own homes, there are several initiatives and programs in place, including local events provided by many sponsors. So the reason that we're all here is for the seniors. We get to be a part of their lives, be a resource. So it means so much to come here, have information available for those who need it that might not be ready to come to a community or make that phone call. It's just easily available. That's why events like All Senior Community Picnic are important in our community. This event was created to provide information about assisted living homes, insurance, benefits, Medicare plans, and other resources. Look forward to this event every year for our seniors. Um, there's lots of different booths and activities where they can come, meet us, ask questions. While educating the senior community, they also get to enjoy different vendors that provide games and fun activities for the seniors. This year, the theme for this picnic was Aloha. Many seniors got to enjoy live performances, raffles, and food. Um, giveaways, free lunch provided by Meals on Wheels, so it's a great way to get the community together, have a little fun. Um, this event also creates opportunities for seniors to connect with their peers and engage in social activities. Yes, it's been fun. Yeah. Oh, it's always fun when it's Ellen's always there. Fun. <laughs> so many tents to visit. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot bigger than I expected. All the, all the games, the ice cream, um, running into people that I know in the community that, and from church and stuff has been fun. Yeah, yeah the, the, the event, people that are putting on the events are very personable and, and uh, easy to talk to. Ana Trejo, Apple Valley News Now. Now, if you missed the senior picnic today, Active for Life has more events coming up through the fall and winter. So you can call 509-713-9495 to get in touch with them. We also have a link to more information going up on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. Well, it's been a cold, gloomy end of summer today for sure. And again, we've been seeing these showers continue. Light showers on and off, heavier in some locations. In fact, some of the upper elevations here in the Blue Mountains, uh, the Wallawas, received over an inch of rain since yesterday. So again, we continue to see that rainfall. It'll start to kind of wrap up and move on out of the area. Here's our satellite and radar. And again, it's that big wrap around is going counterclockwise. We're still seeing some thunder and lightning in central Oregon. But again, here it comes. And again, expect those showers to continue through the evening, but starting to deteriorate as we move through the night and, and checking out our next three days. Gradually, we're going to see the jet stream moving up. That ridge of low pressure will move on out of the area. That's going to give us some clear skies and a break from the showers for a little bit anyway. Then the jet swifts, uh, ch uh, changes directions, I should say, and we'll start to see a westerly flow bringing that next system in first over the Cascades late Saturday, eventually making it way its way to the east slopes of the Cascades and then eventually into the lower elevations late Sunday into Monday. Here's our Saturday, our future cast again. We see that uh, those rain showers starting to move on out. We have some clear skies and sunshine moving in and another band of showers showers still possible mainly east of Tri Cities in the Blue Mountains. Here comes the cloud cover though on Saturday and then eventually we'll start to see this next system moving in Saturday night moving across the Cascades into the lower elevations Columbia Basin and we're predicting some pretty good rain showers into the first week of fall next week. Wind wise we're looking pretty good tonight. 
It's looking good tomorrow and even into Saturday, but then Saturday night we'll start to see those winds increasing as that system starts to move across the area. And again, it'll be a westerly flow versus this wraparound situation we've been dealing with the last couple of days. Our Legends Casino Skycam in Richland tonight, 58 degrees, some sprinkles out there. Winds are light. Our sunset at 656 tonight. Let's take a look at our overnight lows again. It was chilly this morning and look at these temperatures once again. Pendleton down to 39, 42 in Walla Walla. I'm just not ready for it just yet. 44 Tri-Cities, 46 in Yakima. Again, scattered showers in Chile, but again, those showers will start to taper off uh, after midnight or so. Tomorrow, again, afternoon sun, a little bit warmer. We could see some scattered showers and clouds developing later into Saturday, but mainly Saturday night into Sunday, and those temperatures still below the average for this time of year. Let's plan your day tomorrow. Like I said, you're going to need to grab that coat because those temperatures are chilly in the morning. Not all that warm by noon. We're just not used to these uh, temperatures just yet. And you'll see the low 70s for Tri-Cities in Yakima staying in the 60s though in Walla Walla. And again, our fall begins coming up Friday, 1150 p.m. This is when we have the same amount of daylight and evening uh, conditions as well. Darkness and daylight, same latitude. So that's what the fall equinox means, and then that's when it's going to kick in. Here's your short-term forecast into the weekend. Our first day of fall here, Yakima 70s, dropping down to the 60s. Cloud cover, slight chance of some showers beginning Sunday. Tri-Cities, those showers are going to take a little longer if they indeed make it to our region, more so towards Monday. But again, temperature staying in the 70s for uh, the first weekend of fall. 68 in Washington. Walla Walla, again, those 70 degree temperatures. Look for those overcast skies. A lot more to get to, including your travel forecast. That's coming up. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. Well, fall maybe just around the corner, but you can still enjoy a taste of the fair. The Central Washington State Fair kicks off tomorrow. We have a preview of some of the treats that you'll be able to find there next on Apple Valley News Now at 6. Our customers depend on us for everything. We grow well over 200 different crop varieties and there's tremendous diversity within our trade territory. We spend a lot of time and work a lot with our customers on enhancing and utilization of the products that John Deere offers. From a technology perspective, we do what we say every single day. That sound. Wolves. Boy, they sound hungry. Load up, wolves! Good thing this Ford Explorer has Sync 3 technology. Keeps them entertained on the way to dinner. Get a great deal on an Explorer. Only at your local Ford dealer. The 2023 Honda Pilot was named the most fun to drive by car and driver. The Toyota Highlander was not. In fact, on the road and off, Pilot's handling blew Highlander away. Plus, Pilot has a bigger, more powerful engine, more cargo space, a bigger third row, and a bold new look. And right now, well-qualified buyers can get the bigger, bolder Honda Pilot with 3.9% APR financing. For details, see your Southeastern Washington Honda dealer. Are your closets overflowing? Is your garage filled with things you no longer need? When you donate to Goodwill, you're not just clearing space in your home. You're creating opportunities for those in need. By donating or shopping at Goodwill, you actively contribute to local employment opportunities and help individuals find work within your community. So donate your gently used items to Goodwill, and together we can transform lives and build a brighter future. Goodwill. There's more behind the store. Did you know Estria Health has a board-certified plastic surgeon offering cosmetic and reconstructive procedures? If you're struggling with your appearance or want to repair damage, Astria offers several treatments and procedures, including surgical options. Dr. Bronson offers breast procedures, abdominoplasty, liposuction, facelifts, and more. Ask your primary care provider for a referral to Dr. Bronson. Astria Health, exceptional rural health care close to home. Vegas action is closer than you think. The fun is waiting for you at Knob Hill Casino. Come in and pull up a chair at your choice of blackjack, pie gal, heads up hold'em, or high card flush, and play with the friendliest dealers in town. Join our players club to take your game to the next level and earn rewards for food, bowling, prizes, and cash. There's always a spot for you at Knob Hill Casino where the locals play. 
that sound? Wolves. Boy, they sound hungry. Load up, wolves! Good thing this Ford Explorer has Sync 3 technology. Keeps them entertained on the way to dinner. Get a great deal on an Explorer. Only at your local Ford dealer. Welcome back. ESD 105 is on a mission to improve literacy skills for all children in the Yakima Valley, one book at a time. They're two years into an innovative approaches to literacy grant of nearly $4 million, which is designed to stretch over five years. So far, they've given away more than 72,000 books to local kids and teens at book fairs and parades, through book vending machines and little free libraries. This Sunday, they'll be handing out free books at the downtown Yakima Farmer's Market. When we are able to get high quality, diverse books that reflect the kids and the families that we have in the region, kids are able to see themselves and their families reflected, and they're able to see that this is what I can do. So if you can't make it to the farmer's market, they will also be at the Central Washington State Fair, located inside the STEM building at State Fair Park. And speaking of, the Central Washington State Fair kicks off tomorrow at State Fair Park in Yakima. We've got a sneak preview at What's to Eat. There's fa fair food favorites like cotton candy, corn dogs, curly fries, elephant ears, and funnel cakes. Also some adventurous options like deep fried Oreos, pickle pizza, and walking tacos. But fair officials say the biggest new thing on the menu is the Krispy Kreme burgers. A third of a pound burger sandwiched between, with cheese, sandwiched between two Krispy Kreme donuts. Sweet, savory, it is delish. All right, the Central Washington State Fair kicks off at noon. Tomorrow there's free parking and admission is only $3 if you get there before 4 o'clock. We still have a lot more news ahead for you in our second half hour. We'll talk about why fall travel might be different this year than it has before. Coming up new at 6.30, but first, Stacey Lee has your reason to smile. That's right. Today's photo comes from Luis Gonzalez. Uh, grabbed this photo a couple weeks ago. We're going to call it the last splash of summer. There it is, folks. I don't think we're going to be playing out in the Columbia River very soon. Uh, anyway, Reason to Smile is sponsored by West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental in Pasco. Now to have your photo featured, all you got to do is snap one, send it to me at slee at applevalleynewsnow.com. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Carl's Jr.'s new Big Char Chili Burger is big on charbroiled flavor, big on smoky sweet heat with a whole charred Anaheim chili, and big on savings with a Big Char Chili Combo for just $7.99. Yeah. Yeah. Now's the time to get a great deal on select Kubota equipment. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience in the U.S., they offer the versatility and reliability to get the job done right all year round. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 84 months. Find a Kubota dealer near you at gokubota.com. Get 2.9% APR for 36 months on most 2024 Cadillac models. Visit your Yakima and Tri-Cities Cadillac dealer today. Did you see this? It says most people are going to need long-term care that health insurance and Medicare won't cover. I saw that and it got me thinking, if I need to pay for home modifications or in-home care, I am not prepared. Are you? Not really. I mean, whatever happens, I just want to know that I'll be able to get care and stay in my own home as I age. Right? I want that too. So, uh... Find out how the WA Cares Fund can help. I Curly got involved here a lot of years ago, probably over 20, 25 years ago, with helping out the youth at our fairs. We believe in giving back as much as we can. We're not just here to sell you cars, we're also here to give back and to be a part of that family, part of that connection community. It's just the excitement of seeing these kids, how grateful they are. So it's ex very rewarding for us. I'm Joe Klein. I'm driving change at McCurley. Find your way home in a new, used, or certified pre-owned vehicle from McCurley Mazda. At Mattress Depot USA, we're all about being friendly. Customer friendly. Our sleep consultants would tailor the perfect sleep solution just for you. Local friendly. We grew up here. 
brand friendly. The top brands like Sealy, Stearns & Foster, Tempur-Pedic. Price friendly. We always give you the best value. We might just be the friendliest place on earth. Ha! Huh? Excuse me? Don't worry, you're still the happiest. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Hi, I'm Bruce Schaefer. These are my two sons, Gary and John, and we built this deck. We won't settle for anything less than contractor grade. So we get all of our building materials and supplies from PAR. PAR, family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you gonna build? He's a beloved daytime soap star on General Hospital for over 30 years who just revealed his emotional battle with two blood and bone marrow disorders. And now he speaks out for the first time. What does he want you to know? Tomorrow on Good Morning America. Carl's Jr.'s new Big Char Chili Burger is big on charbroiled flavor, big on smoky sweet heat with a whole charred Anaheim chili, and big on savings with a Big Char Chili Combo for just $7.99. We'll check this out. Washington Fish and Wildlife shared a video on social media showing an elk playing with a box there in the distance. The post says a state fish and wildlife worker shot this video while trying to hunt elk. But this elk came back three times to play with the target. That's the box he keeps running his antlers against. Fish and Wildlife says the hunter did not get an elk on this day. But we know we could see a lot of strange behavior from elk around now because mid-September is the time when the annual rut gets underway. Next, we're talking developments in the United Auto Workers strike. We'll talk about why the limited job action could get larger without an agreement. And major new developments at the southern border. Officials now sending troops to help handle the situation. And a local school finding itself in the national spotlight. The news at 630 starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now at 630 on your side. An update in developing news from the top of the newscast. We're seeing new pictures from Oregon DOT cameras showing the backup after a major accident on I-84 involving more than 20 vehicles. This happened around 1230 again on Interstate 84 in the Pendleton area. This evening, I-84 is still closed in both directions between exit 216, which is six miles east of Pendleton, and exit 265 near LeGrand. Unclear when the highway will reopen. Now, thousands of migrants crossing the southern border into the United States. Resources are being stretched. Ivan Rodriguez reports troops are now being deployed to help with the surge. A state of emergency is declared by the mayor in Eagle Pass, Texas, as the surge of migrants crossing the border continues. Also, in response to the surge, the Defense Department is deploying more than 800 new active duty personnel to the U.S.-Mexico border. Around 2,700 migrants crossed into the U.S. near Eagle Pass on Tuesday, while another 3,000 migrants crossed on Wednesday. Many migrants trekking a dangerous path. What we consider to be a humanitarian crisis is what the people endure on the journey uh, to the border uh, in the hands of smugglers. We see so much trauma, so much tragedy. Some people are drowning. Some people are dying in, the, in some of those ranches. If we will find bodies or bones, whatever. So why take a risk? Why make, why make those people come like this? The Biden administration is providing humanitarian relief for Venezuelans by issuing more work permits. We can't spike the ball, but we appreciate that 15,000 uh, migrant asylum seekers are now of uh, something that we can look towards moving out of our care. In the meantime, U.S. Customs and Border Protection is temporarily suspending traffic at the Texas border crossing to help the U.S. Border Patrol take migrants into custody. It's something very strange. Never thought I was going to see something like that in Eagle Pass. Ivan Rodriguez, Apple Valley News Now. Now let's get back to the local forecast. We are seeing uh, some rainy weather across the region, and we were seeing fog earlier around Dead Man's Pass and I-84 in Oregon might have contributed to that crash that's causing a backup and closing the highway now. Stacy Lee has been tracking all of that for us. That's right. We were seeing some heavy rain showers down in that region earlier today in that fog. Again, the temperatures were running in the 40s today in those upper elevations near Legrand, the, the Cabbage Hill area. So that created some fog. It's cleared up now, but again, the wreck has already caused a big traffic jam. So again, check a trip check. We're getting to that time of year. We'll continue to see these showers throughout the evening starting to taper off that ridge of low pressure moving out. This wrap around moisture is the situation we're seeing. Once that ridge of low pressure uh, moves on out of the area. 
We'll start to get some sunshine moving in and a more westerly flow off the coast. Legends Casino Skycam 58 degrees or sunset at 656. Now, if you're heading uh, the, on the road this weekend, you'll definitely want to plan for uh, some rainy conditions on the west side. Planning your day tomorrow, though, look at that. It's going to be cool out the door with your temperatures in the uh, low 40s. It's going to be really chilly tonight, so grab a coat on the way out. It's not going to be all that warm by midday and then a little bit warmer there by the afternoon. So overall, we're looking at uh, cool weather, but we are going to see a nice little warm up for a couple of days as we begin fall this coming weekend. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacey. Talks have resumed between United Auto Workers and Ford and GM on Wednesday, then today with Stellantis. Despite that seemingly positive development, there is a red line ahead and approaching quickly. Laura Aguirre has more on what that is and what it means. If we have to strike more, close more, then we'll do that. The United Auto Workers Union says their walkouts will expand if the nation's three largest automakers don't give them a better contract proposal by noon Friday. I would like to see fair wages for everybody. Um, I would say most of these employees probably live paycheck to paycheck. Higher wages, 40% higher over four years, one of several union demands. The UAW is currently striking at three plants, representing each of the big three U.S. auto brands. But the threat of Friday's deadline is already having ripple effects. Stellantis, which is meeting with UAW leadership Thursday, is temporarily laying off some non-union workers at their Toledo, Ohio machining plant. GM and Ford are doing the same at some of their other facilities. Those on the picket lines know it's not just auto workers feeling the impact. I would like to see us get back to work so those other suppliers get back to work and uplift this economy. The strike fallout also hitting auto industry suppliers. U.S. Steel in Granite City, Illinois laid off several hundred workers this week. I've had grown men crying in my office that don't know how they're going to provide for their families. Uh, it's, it's, it's very difficult. And I know it's business to them, but it's personal to us. For now, those business talks continue as the deadline clock keeps ticking. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. Now in Hollywood, the Writers Guild of America returned to the negotiating table with studios today. No word of a deal yet, but we know both the writers and the actors unions are on strike right now. A drop in unemployment benefits last week as they hit their lowest level since January. The Labor Department says it received 201,000 initial unemployment insurance claims. That's down 20,000 claims from the week prior. It's also below economists' expectations. Weekly unemployment claims remain below historical and pre-pandemic averages. We're less than 10 days from a government shutdown and getting reports now that House Republican leaders are sending some lawmakers home without a deal in place. As the deadline gets closer, we're also getting a better idea of the potential impact that a shutdown would have. ABC's Liz Landers is tracking the latest. A government shutdown could happen in a little more than a week if a short-term funding bill isn't passed by midnight on October 1st. The resolution is not adopted. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy suffering another setback today after some hardline conservative Republicans joined Democrats to vote down a bill to even begin debate on a defense spending bill. It's the second time this week that's happened. This is a whole new concept of individuals that just want to burn the whole place down. It, that doesn't work. McCarthy under pressure by far-right Republicans to cut spending significantly or potentially face being ousted from the speaker's chair. I believe that it uh, is really kind of frivolous in the cuts because they only occur for 30 days. I don't think it would lead to any programmatic reform. But the GOP infighting continues as other House Republicans urge their colleagues to compromise. We're one half of one third of the decision making process, but we act as though we can impose our will on the entire Congress and we just simply can't do that. And as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is in Washington seeking additional U.S. funding for his war against Russia, that aid has become a major disagreement between Democrats and Republicans. President Zelensky is leading a country that is right at the forefront in the fight for democracy. I want to make sure there's accountability where the resources are going. I want to see a plan of what we're looking for for victory. Zelensky's visit to Capitol Hill and the White House comes as President Biden is expected to announce an aid package for Ukraine worth hundreds of millions of dollars. In Washington, Liz Landers, ABC News.
Also on Capitol Hill, the Senate has begun individually confirming military promotions, starting with some of the top leadership in the Department of Defense. Now, this is happening because Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville has blocked normal military confirmation votes since February. He opposes the military's policies on abortion care. There are hundreds of military promotions that need to be approved. So far, the Senate has gotten to three of them. Voting to approve Air Force General C.Q. Brown as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Randy George as the Army Chief of Staff, and General Eric Smith as the new Commandant of the Marine Corps. Locally tonight, an Eastern Washington school finds itself in a national spotlight. Talking about that, we'll hear from the principal, and we hope you enjoyed your last full day of summer. Fall begins tomorrow just before midnight. We are looking for a nice Friday ahead, though. Stacey Lee's got the details coming up in your first alert forecast. And we're talking about what to expect about fall travel deals. Why autumn could feel a little different for those taking to the skies next on Apple Valley News Now at 630. Portions of Apple Valley News Now sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Here, freshly made grizzly bear tracks. Survival, it's not guaranteed. Good thing I got my Ford Bronco Sport because it goes over any terrain. Get a great deal on a Bronco Sport only at your local Ford dealer. It's not every day that you can experience award-winning limited production wines selected by industry notables, plus receive advanced news regarding upcoming releases and events. Delight in the convenience of having wines delivered to your door as a member of the Coyote Canyon Wine Club. The road can be a crazy place. Uh-oh. That's why Let's Drop Tires fixes brakes, steering, and more. And those guys don't. Ugh, keep driving. I'm just glad Les Schraub puts my safety first, so I can backseat drive with confidence. During our fall tire sale, save up to $250 on a set of four select tires. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. The 2023 Honda Pilot was named the most fun to drive by car and driver. The Kia Telluride was not. In fact, on the road and off, Pilot's handling blue Telluride away. Plus, Pilot has available features you won't find on Telluride, like wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And right now, well-qualified buyers can get the bigger, bolder Honda Pilot with 3.9% APR financing. For details, see your Southeastern Washington Honda dealer. Get ready, Tri-Cities. We're going back to the Jurassic era. Welcome to Quake, the epicenter of family fun. Quake's facilities features a state-of-the-art trampoline park, tactical laser tag arena, ninja warrior course, video game arcade, virtual reality stations, golf simulators, and much more. There's nothing like it in southeastern Washington. Quake, the epicenter of family fun. Located in Kennewick, off I-82 and Weiser Parkway. My relationship with Make-A-Wish began 14 years ago. We cumulatively now have a total of 1.14 million we've done for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I'm lucky to have a position that affords me the opportunity to support the community. And for me, I want the customer's buying experience to be just that. Understanding what their motivation is and also knowing that the activity they're having with me is going to have a direct reflect on what we're going to do with Make-A-Wish for the calendar year. Find your way home in a new Mazda from McCurley Mazda. An accident can shatter your life. At Tamaki Law, we put your life back together. When a client has been seriously hurt, they need a lot of help. We understand that. Their only job is to get better. Our job is to take care of the rest. That's why we work hard and fight for the justice they deserve. If you've been seriously injured, call Tamaki Law and get your life back. Here, freshly made grizzly bear tracks. Survival, it's not guaranteed. Good thing I got my Ford Bronco Sport because it goes over any terrain. Get a great deal on a Bronco Sport only at your local Ford dealer. Welcome back. The U.S. Secretary of Education has recognized Apple Valley Elementary in the West Valley School District as a 2023 National Blue Ribbon School. This award is given to schools that show academic excellence and the ability to help students at all levels achieve it. 
Apple Valley was one of only two schools in the entire state of Washington to receive this award. And the principal says it's due to the hard work of staff, students and their families. And it's especially meaningful, she says, coming back from the issues that students have been struggling with since the pandemic. Children didn't talk. They weren't engaged with others. And so we really spent two years rebuilding communication, rebuilding opportunities for them to play, um, opportunities for them to problem solve. And so now we're seeing that um, on the other end. So out of more than 9,000 schools to receive this award since 1982, only four of them have been from Yakima County. Hitting the road this autumn might look a little different than in years past. While airfare has dropped, as it typically does this time of year, there are still major concerns hanging over the fall travel season. Mike Valerio explains. Fall is here, and with it usually comes ideal travel conditions. Flights and gas are typically cheaper and airports less crowded. September and October marks a time when most students go back to school. Folks head back to regular work schedules after a more flexible summer. This year, however, could look very different. Gas prices reached record highs this week, and the national average remains above 385, according to AAA. The good news, according to an expert from the travel app Hopper, autumn airfares are 9% less expensive than last year and 10% cheaper than in 2019. This is in part due to higher capacity on the airline side and the opening of international demand this summer. But that higher capacity could hit a snag. Contract negotiations continue with flight attendants at four major airlines as they inch closer to potential strikes. The looming government shutdown could also cause major travel headaches. TSA officers would have to work without pay, threatening delays across the country. It would also halt training on new air traffic controllers at a time when they're already struggling with staff shortages. A government shutdown would stop us in our tracks. It would stop training at just the moment when we're finally trending positive again. In Los Angeles, I'm Mike Valerio. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. Well, it's been a wet, cold day all day today. We continue to see light shower activity moving through the area. We did have heavier showers mainly in uh, eastern Oregon, Pendleton, think La Grande area here. Uh, some places received an inch of rain between yesterday and today. Again, more of a light sprinkle, about a tenth of an inch or so in the Columbia Basin Tri-Cities. But again, that wraparound moisture, it's kind of lingering. It's hanging out and still kind of swooping around. Now, that'll start to change when that ridge of low pressure moves out. And then we'll start to see a westerly flow as we move into the weekend. So this is a southwesterly flow. And again, our jet stream is well below our area, creating a huge trough. It's gradually going to move up. This is tomorrow. Again, we'll see those showers mainly in Idaho here in Boise and look at those blue dots that's snow in some areas those upper elevations getting into your Saturday again that uh, jet stream moves a little closer and that's going to change the flow from uh, the northerly flow to a westerly flow into our area so again we'll keep an eye on that the next couple of days let's keep take a look at our future cast and again most of that uh, activity moving out there's still another chance of a few stray showers going through late Saturday now we'll start to see those clouds moving in. We'll start to see the winds come from the west and those uh, showers are going to start moving across the cascade Saturday evening. We could see a few of those slide over into the east slopes and then even into the Columbia Basin by Sunday morning. So again, be aware of that. Wind wise, pretty mild as far as the winds go around here. You know how that gets a little breezy here uh, in the Columbia Basin tomorrow, Tri Cities, but overall nice light winds. But that again will change as we get into our Saturday night and that westerly flow wind starts to come through the Columbia River Gorge. Those mountain gaps in uh, the Kittitas and Yakima. Valley and again we'll start to see those breezes. Now our Dust Devil Sky Cam tonight again we've got the lights out there 58 degrees still some scattered showers around the area sunset at 656 tonight. Our overnight lows very chilly grab a coat you're going to need it uh, late tonight and early in the morning. I've been stepping outside in the morning and quickly running in back into the covers so 42 overnight in Walla Walla 39 in Pendleton 44 Tri-Cities 46 in Yakima. Tomorrow's daytime highs 
just slightly warmer, but still below our average. Typically, we're in the upper 70s this time of year. We're only going to hit the low and mid 70s, not even making it to the 70s here in Pendleton, Walla Walla and Dayton. So again, uh, cool temperatures, but a little bit of a warm up. And if you are hitting the road this weekend, prepare for some showers in the Seattle area. It's going to be wet there. Uh, nice day for you tomorrow. So that's a good day to travel. If you're heading out to the Portland region again, going to be wet or a chance of some rain showers a little bit less on Saturday, but those temperatures quickly drop from the 70s uh, down into the 60s. And if you're going to uh, Spokane this weekend, should be fairly nice to start with a little overcast Saturday 70s, and then you'll see those overcast conditions again on Sunday. So a lot going on there. Short term forecast going through the weekend again. We got our first day of fall beginning tomorrow. Uh, the weekend we'll see the 70s. That's the warm spot Friday, Saturday for Yakima. Good for the fair. And then we're going to start to see the cooling temperatures and a chance of rain showers on Sunday. A little less chance of rain here in the Columbia Basin, but it is going to be overcast beginning Saturday night into Sunday. Kind of gloomy on Sunday for us in Walla Walla. Again, kind of overcast, a little bit of clouds out there. A nice warm temperature on Saturday, and then we'll gradually start to decrease on Sunday and expect more showers next week. We'll get to all of that. Your seven day planning forecast is on the way. Stay here. We'll be right back with more Apple Valley News Now at 630. Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, save $30 on the GTA 26 handheld battery pruner. Real steel. Find yours. Now is the time for a new bath from Bathfitter. Every Bathfitter bath is installed quickly, safely, and beautifully with a lifetime warranty. Go from old to new, from worn to wow. The beautiful bath you've always wanted. Done right. Installed by one expert technician. All in one day. We've been creating moments like these for 35 years, and we're here to help you get started. Book your free virtual or in-home design consultation today. Okay, thanks for visiting. Bye, Alice. Eh, I'm stuck. Not funny anymore. <laughs> yes, it is. Wait, guys, the Mesozoic times are boring and have zero rat attractions. Triple play is fun. I want to stay here. Of course you can stay. Oh, fantastic. We won't regret this. Triple play has fun attractions for everyone, like bowling, Raptor Reef Indoor Water Park, and a brand new zip line ride, all attached to a cozy hotel. She's on the logo already. Marketers are the worst. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. Plus, receive $1,000 off your new siding project for new construction as well as remodels. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and Replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want in your yard. Vegas action is closer than you think. The fun is waiting for you at Knob Hill Casino. Come in and pull up a chair at your choice of blackjack, pie gal, heads up hold'em, or high card flush, and play with the friendliest dealers in town. Join our players club to take your game to the next level and earn rewards for food, bowling, prizes, and cash. There's always a spot for you at Knob Hill Casino where the locals play. The 2023 Honda CRV is a car and driver 10 best. RAV4 and Forester are not. CRV is also car and driver's top ranked compact SUV. Toyota and Subaru weren't even close. That's because inside and out, the next generation Honda CRV is bigger, bolder, and more beautiful than ever. And right now, well qualified buyers can get CRV with 3.9% APR financing. For details, see your Southeastern Washington Honda dealer. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. In business news tonight, a consumer protection lawsuit filed against Starbucks over its refresher line of drinks. Now, these drinks have names like mango, dragon fruit, or strawberry acai, but the plaintiffs say the drinks don't actually contain those ingredients. Now, Starbucks says the allegations are inaccurate and without merit. 
The company wanted the case dismissed because it says the drink names refer to flavors, not necessarily ingredients, but a federal judge disagreed and allowed that lawsuit to advance. The chairman of the Fox Corporation and News Corporation will step down. Rupert Murdoch announced his decision today in a memo to company employees. His son Lachlan Murdoch will become the chairman of News Corp and remain CEO of Fox Corp. The 92-year-old steps away just months after the Fox Corporation paid $787 million in a defamation lawsuit with Dominion Voting Systems over false information promoted about the 2020 election on Fox News. The company is also facing a lawsuit from Smartmantic, a Dominion competitor. And it's still up for grabs. No one had all of the winning numbers in last night's Powerball drawing. That means the jackpot rolls over and currently it's at $725 million. The next drawing takes place on Saturday night. A lump payout before taxes would total more than 343 million bucks. Meanwhile, the Mega Millions jackpot sitting pretty at $205 million. The next drawing in that game is tomorrow night. And I think it's going to feel like we won the lottery with the weather this weekend. We're taking a final look at your forecast when we come back. Yeah! Carl's Jr.'s new Big Char Chili Burger is big on charbroiled flavor. Big on smoky sweet heat with a whole charred Anaheim chili. And big on savings with a Big Char Chili Combo for just $7.99. Yeah. Yeah. Warning your air conditioner unit needs service. Would you like me to call Bruce? Yes, call Bruce. Thanks to today's modern technology, it's never been easier to call Bruce Heating and Air. When your AC unit needs serviced, call Bruce. Oh my gosh. Let's get this party started. Just make sure you call the right Bruce. Now through September 30th, receive rebates up to $2,250 off on a new Dyke and Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. Bruce Heating and Air. With Chevy Silverado and Silverado HD, you can take on the mountains. Or you can move them. With the power of up to 36,000 pounds of max available towing and the confidence of an available 13.4-inch diagonal touchscreen. Whatever your mountain, there's a Silverado for you. Get 0% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups plus make no monthly payments for 90 days. Or get 3,500 total cash allowance on this Silverado with a TurboMax engine. See your community Chevy dealers. Honey, that was my brother. Can we bring him dinner tomorrow? He's been having a hard time since his accident. Of course, I know it's been tough. There's so many costs that his insurance doesn't even cover. I know, the ramp to his front door, transportation, meal preparation. What if something happens to one of us? We should plan to sit down soon. We can look through the long-term care benefits that we're earning with WaCares. Find out how the WaCares Fund can help. Special report. Spectrum brings us Spectrum One, where Spectrum Internet, advanced Wi-Fi, and unlimited mobile come together to keep you seamlessly connected wherever you are! Switch to Spectrum One and get 300 megabit internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and one free line of unlimited mobile with no contract. Call 1-833-743-4999. The Coopers here just got Spectrum One. Why did you switch? With Spectrum One, we get a super fast, reliable connection. Look, with Spectrum Internet, I can stream Spectrum News across all our devices. And the advanced Wi-Fi has enhanced security and privacy features that automatically block <laughs> online threats, keeping our family and devices safe and secure. How reliable is Spectrum Mobile? It's a super reliable service coast to coast. And it includes nationwide 5G. Switch to Spectrum One and get 300 megabit internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and one free line of unlimited mobile with the fastest wireless speeds. Call 1-833-743-4999 or visit a Spectrum store today. Yeah! Carl's Jr.'s new Big Char Chili Burger is big on charbroiled flavor, big on smoky sweet heat with a whole charred Anaheim chili, and big on savings with a Big Char Chili Combo for just $7.99. This newscast sponsored by Nissan. Welcome back. We're taking a final look at your forecast. And Stacy, for me, this is bonfire weather. Bonfire <laughs> weather. It is bonfire weather. Of course, a little wet tonight. So, But then there's no sparks. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. All right. Let's take a look at your seven-day planner again. Our first day of fall, officially tomorrow night. We go into the weekend a little overcast in Yakima, but not bad weather for the uh, Central Washington State Fair. And then look at the rain or a chance of it. 
all next week. Another wet week in those temperatures. Overnight lows down in the 40s now. Dry cities again on the cool side. Slight chance of rain here as well. Enjoy that Saturday though. 75 degrees and in Walla Walla should be a nice day. Friday, Saturday, Sunday gets overcast and again chance of showers coming our direction in the first official week of fall. You know, I'm a week of rain sounds pretty good right That's now. Right. So start <laughs> transitioning out the summer clothes. Get ready. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Stacy. Thank you so much for watching. You can always find the latest on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com, and we're back tonight at 11.